Of the headlines, yep. uh, Washington State Senator Maria Cantwell says she will bring her concerns about the Amanda Knox trial to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, including whether anti-Americanism may have had a role in Amanda Knox's case. Greg Burke is live in Italy with the latest. Hey, Greg. Good morning, guys. That's right. Uh, Senator Cantwell, of course, is from Amanda Knox's home state of Washington, so they, that may have something to do here. But she certainly has some very serious statements there saying uh, serious questions about the Italian justice system. Any way you look at this case, it is a mess, first and foremost, for the families of those involved. Uh, for the victim, Meredith Kercher, British student, she was a roommate of uh, Amanda Knox, killed so brutally back in November of 2007. Then and for Amanda and her family, Amanda in prison right now with a 26-year sentence. Now, she could get out on appeal or it could be reduced either at the appeal or because of good behavior. But any way you look at it, it does look like a long time in prison right now for Amanda. And finally, guys, Hillary Clinton also answered a question about this yesterday. And being a lawyer, she was very careful. She said, I don't have an opinion on that right now, but I will listen to Senator Cantwell or anyone else who has concerns. But that didn't stop the Italians from saying that uh, Secretary Clinton is going to intervene in the case. The papers were full of headlines today. My favorite was that uh, Mrs. Clinton adopts Amanda Knox. Guys? Mm. Mm. All right, Greg Burke. Yeah, what a story. Greg, thank you very much. Greg Burke reporting from Perugia, Italy. All right, 26 minutes before the top of the hour. The rest of the headlines now. The U.S. says it's launching a new effort to track down Osama bin Laden. The president's national security advisor, James Jones, says the terror leader is spending time in western Pakistan and sometimes slips into Afghanistan. But Defense Secretary Robert Gates isn't so sure, admitting there's been no credible intelligence on UBL's whereabouts for years. We don't know for a fact where Osama bin Laden is. If we did, we'd go get him. Gates says U.S. forces will not pursue Taliban leaders in Pakistan. That's up to the Pakistani military, but we're doing some drone attacks. Steve? Brian, a terrifying situation for a woman trying to protect herself against a home invader. For more than 10 minutes, Donna Jackson was on the phone with the 911 operator saying she did not want to shoot the guy who was coming in her house. Steve, it's Pat back patio door again. I can hear him banging again. I don't want to have to kill this man, but I'll kill him great here a dead man. I understand. All right. Finally, the man entered the home. The phone dropped, and then there was a single shot. Ma'am, is your phone on cord? Let's go. I shot him going out front. I hit him. She shot him. God help me. Okay, stay on the line. She shot him. I need to get an ambulance up there, too. I dropped the phone. Oh, okay, put this down. Okay, have to watch. I know, ma'am. We're trying. Uh, Here. Oh, please, dear God, I think I've killed him. Police in Oklahoma say the suspected intruder who was killed had a long history of drug and alcohol related convictions. Martha. And also this morning, Billy Joel says that his daughter will be fine after an apparent suicide attempt. 23 year old Alexa Ray Joel reportedly dialed 911 herself after popping a handful of pills and telling the operator, quote, I took pills, want to die. That's according to the New York Post this morning. EMS workers soon got a message from the 911 uh, dispatcher saying this. Female caller took eight pills, wants to die, now feels funny, wants to live. Alexa was apparently depressed after breaking up with her boyfriend. Uh, and that is a look at this morning's big headlines.